on the writer's block. Something smelled fresh when the air was recovering memories of spring, and equipped with five dollars and a journal, I mounted my bicycle and set off to offer myself to the divots and the bricks, to the crosswalk lights, the area bounded together by four streets known to me as my very own writer's block. Block, like that thing in my way, the condition keeping poems stuck and the out of reach. Block, like the Sharpie marker scrawled cardboard box my friend transformed into a portal, filing ideas and newspaper clippings so that he could dive his hand through the slips of fresh inspiration and pull out a story. This was my place away from stress, and although we all know the grip of lingering anxiousness can only loosen and never let us go, I find reason to wilt and bloom again in the turning pages, in the window, and on the lonely bench where I and my pencil ponder all things stirring us. From here we watch a pack of teenage princesses, their phones in hand, swinging arms brushing each other like tree branches. Why are they always in clumps? A boy had asked. She had answered, it's dangerous to be a woman and alone, dangerous, and so they say promise me. Be careful, view each stranger as a predator, while the others say relax, not all men, there she goes again. So they say stick together, pack mentality, love yourself, but no vanity. Do Get your homework done, get lots of sleep, be yourself, be social, easy, funny, cautious. When I grow up, I want to be spontaneous. I'd like to one day not feel the wind in my hair, but rather my hair as it blows far away in the wind as I chop it off in clumps near some place with birds and sea cliffs. I'd like to not have kids so one morning I can wake up, quit my job, board a plane, buy a book on wild edibles, and make a treehouse and a blog and an honorable career as a starving artist. I want to be wild. I want to be strange, new. I want to be... but still... I am sometimes tempted by conformity. And then it is why can't I tune myself into the self-promises written by another's hand? Why can't I read in this small amount of seconds, giggle my way through the pain, seek out people to chatter the day to dust, take tests without the letters and numbers switching, my own larger hourglass softly spilling sand like the alienating labels they trickle through your lips, special, you call me, mentally disabled. Why can I not seem normal? Capable? Older? Smarter? Innocence, sure, but like a choice. Why could I not squeeze my writhing flame of a person into the proper shape? So let me, surrendering, pretending, amending, society taking me in handfuls, lips closed and empty, squelching by the expectations, pounding, resounding, be perfect, 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 perfect. I watch the sun blink and stride towards the princess bunch, and I wonder, did I honestly choose to be alone. Watching my waist waning like the moon, my mother warns me I'd be the perfect candidate for anorexia, an o ambitious, overly perfectionist teenage girl who struggles to keep control over her life. My teachers say I would make the perfect rape victim, my crop top, my gender, my tendency to be by myself. I think about perfect. Our class runway stars who sprawl their souls out over the table, list of extracurriculars, honor society, sports captain, and history fair winners, I think about perfect, and I know in my imperfections I would like to keep to myself, put a cork on my bottle and tuck me away, lock me in a safe and stay protected, but then I would miss this, vulnerability which puts my words in the air. Settling over the room like a great big noise, the sound waves washing me to the mythical shores of confidence. These people, the ones who str they struggle to get through the day, and they curse the alarms that wake them, they too feel the walls cl closing in, they cry and they doubt themselves, I am certain they also feel like shit sometimes. Feel like I do, lonely, like for hours I've been holding my breath and no now no wonder it comes out choppy, like at the end of the day when you turn to the sky for comfort only find pity in the blinking stars. I bet these perfect people have their very own band-aid smiles. As the bricks spread out before me, on my writer's block there is a bird, and she's fat and beautiful and limping, healing, and her head is held high, happy, loving, persevering, and I look up and I make a new kind of promise to myself. 